I do love Providence, and more importantly, I love the fact that they're thinking about my family and my wife. I appreciate it very much. Thank all, you. All our best to Elaine and her continued recovery. So glad you're back with us out on the road, Teddy, and that Elaine's doing much better. Oh, well, thank you. Thank Round you number three. Us between Herrera and Williams. Herrera went down in the first round. It's a question mark for surviving with the assault that Williams put forth there. But the pace settled down in round number two here of our scheduled 10 round main event. Aaron Williams, the 22 year old unbeaten prospect, very well regarded cruiserweight prospect. All four losses for Herrera, as we touched on by knockout, all his wins by knockout. As you said, Joe, he either knocks out or he gets knocked out. Williams comes in with a combination. There's Williams. a sweeping left hook. Williams likes to fight in spurts, explosive spurts. And you better be ready for those spurts. There's a lot of space where Williams will take a little nap. You know, he'll let you do something and he'll let you stay around. But you better be ready for those spots when he's not napping. Williams prides himself on being a student of the game. He is a good teacher if you want to be a student of the game. He's trained by former light heavyweight champion Eddie Mustafa Muhammad. Good right hand there. Herrera comes swinging. Well, every once in a while, Williams will leave himself unprotected or naked. He depends on those reflexes, that sense of anticipation, and he'll pull back with his hands down. If you time him right, you're going to catch him clean. Williams gets a little reckless in that area. You can see, even though Williams has great hand speed, Joe, and every once in a while he get up first, really, you can see his temperament. Very careful. Mm -hmm. He studies this guy, and he likes to get a counter. He likes to get a little help from his opponent. He look, he's looking right now for Herrera to come forward with something, but Herrera's not going for it. He's not biting. He wants Herrera to make a mistake and then turn that mistake into gold for Williams. Just waiting on him. And there's that move again. Yep. That little lean to the right. Very predictable with that. See, again, if I'm Herrera, if I'm fortunate enough to get back to that corner. Trying to draw him in. What I'm hoping somebody tells me is, is, hey, just show him a little bit of a jab. Get him to move to the right and take advantage of that. End of three. Aaron Williams getting an earful from Eddie Mustafa Muhammad. He said, keep those hands up, and you got to get the double and triple jab going here against Jose Luis Herrera. Round number four scheduled for 10. Aaron Williams, a very fine-looking, unbeaten prospect, just turned 22 years old, had a signature win of his career on Friday Night Fights this past spring, and now looking to cap off his first main event. You see the average punches land that first round. He exploded, scored the knockdown against Herrera. Little confidence with Herrera this round. I know it's early, but I just feel a little confidence break clean, break clean, as man. he's coming out. And a little bit of a definitive idea in Herrera's mind. Instead of just being there, he's there this round looking for something specific. I think he's looking for a right hand to maybe time Williams as he steps back. I think he sees that Williams does drop those hands and maybe, just maybe, he can get an opportunity to catch him as he goes away. You know, I don't only like the hand speed and the cleverness, the thoughtfulness of Williams, the calmness of Williams, but I like the repertoire of his offense. He mixes his punches up pretty good. He goes up top, he goes underneath, he goes from a straight right hand to a right uppercut. He has a nice assortment, a nice arsenal of punches. But again, Williams plays that little bit of a danger game, that little bit of Russian roulette, that he has to be perfect because he drops those hands, and if he's not perfect timing you or getting in and getting out on time before you, 
He gives you a chance to catch him very clean with those hands down. He just did it on that last exchange. Now back to the jab. Out at range is Williams. Try to time that right hand. Been looking for the counter opportunities the past couple rounds, but when he's just strictly been on the offensive as he was early on, he's had great success against Herrera. Six some blood coming from the mouth of Williams. Not pumping that jab as much as Eddie Mustafa Muhammad would like to see. And of course, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, the former light heavyweight champ of the world, is the trainer and a good trainer for Williams. Dominic Robinson, or oh, I'm sorry, Euphrasio Gonzalez is the man in charge of the corner of Jose Luis Rivera, also Luis the Cubist Jr. Colombian native training in Miami is Herrera. Hey! Way over here. He'll wind up over here somewhere. And this is where you have to take advantage with a punch on that side if you want to win and if you happen to be named Herrera. Now watch again. Here Williams goes way over on that side. And that is exactly where Herrera must go fishing. You know, if the fish are in the middle of the pond, you have to go to the middle of the pond. If the head is on the right side of the pond, well, if you're Herrera, you better go over on that side. As you pointed out well, and you can see it there, that that entire left side of his body is so available when Williams does that. And he does it often every time Herrera comes forward with something. Round number five, scheduled for ten. You know, I'd like to take a moment, Joe, we have a terrific fan. I mean, we're lucky. We're blessed. We have a lot of fans out there that watch the show, care about the sport. One of our best fans is 12-year-old Christian Panisi. He's having a little problem. He's been sick. He's been in the hospital. And uh, Williams is hurt badly. Yeah, Williams is hurt here. So we want to say hello to Chris. But right now, we'll get back to where there could be a... Oh, my! Herrera! Dude! We talked about the recklessness. You okay? Right. What an upset this would be. The unbeaten Aaron Williams was seemingly in control of this fight. And now Herrera looks to finish it. Too much time left, it would seem. Again. Williams almost out on his feet. He took a knee himself. Now that's a smart move. That's a smart move. We'll find out whether or not it's going to make a difference. But right now, he's getting time he would not have gotten. The doctor looking him over. Modified rules we've been told they're using here in Rhode Island, so the doctor can stop this fight here on a 10-round fight. You know, sometimes you see the corner make a move to get time. The fighter made the move. That's it. It's over. Herrera pulled off the upset. Out of nowhere. Louis DeCubis Jr. in the ring, as is Euphrasio Gonzalez to celebrate the upset win by Jose Luis Herrera. Can you believe that one? And a huge upset it was. I was saying early on, and I should repeat it, that I was surprised the commission allowed this fight, being that Herrera had been knocked out three of his last four. Well, in this case, the commission was right. We said it early in the night. Either you get rid of him, or he gets rid of you. 16 wins, 16 knockouts now for Jose Luis Herrera. He's never gone the distance in his career. It was a knockdown, but then he hit him when, but then he hit him when he was down. It was a knockdown, yeah. I didn't count wow. because he was hit after he was you know, I down. wish we knew what Williams was saying and responding to the doctor when he was over in the corner and the doctor for about 10 seconds had a conversation with Williams. Because obviously after that conversation, whatever it was, the doctor decided to stop this fight. He looked into his eyes and he also responded to the words of Williams. Aaron Williams, 
how things can go south so quickly in this business. Just turned 22, coming off the best win of his career, unbeaten in his first main event. Loads of confidence going in. Remember, he scored the knockdown in the first round. He was in complete control. You almost had the sense that Herrera wasn't going to get out of the first round. Then all of a sudden, Williams gets just a little bit too confident, drops the hands, allows Herrera to build some momentum, and all of a sudden,